Hey guys, it's Tim coming at you with a Godzilla King of the Monsters related video for this week. Back in 2014, it was confirmed that one of Toho's most popular kaiju, Mothra, would be joining Godzilla in his upcoming sequel. While we don't know exactly what role Mothra will play in the film, based on what we know about her from previous films and the small amount of information we have about her in the Monsterverse, we may be able to piece together exactly what her role in King of the Monsters will be. First off, what is Mothra? Well, it's been the name, really. She's a giant moth that has two forms. First is her larval form, which usually hatches from an egg in its first appearance. Then she transforms through a cocoon into her moth form, which has a giant furry head, six clawed arms, and four wings. In larval form, Mothra mostly burrows and shoots silk from its mouth, but when she changes forms, she can drop poison powder from her wings and stir up winds. Like many of Toho's monsters who became a part of the overall Godzilla universe, Mothra's first appearance was independent of Godzilla in her own self-titled film. In the film, she's worshipped as a god on Infant Island. However, one day, humans come to Infant Island and kidnap Mothra's Shibujin, the two fairy-like creatures that act as Mothra's mouthpiece. Mothra tracks them down to try to save them, leaving destruction in her path. This is mostly done to illustrate the idea that Mothra, while destructive, isn't a malicious fourth like the other monsters, and usually is placed in the role of the hero, unlike Godzilla who goes back and forth. When the two first met, Mothra was brought in to stop Godzilla, but was already on the verge of death, so Godzilla killed her in their first encounter. Then a new egg hatched twin larval Mothras who teamed up to web up Godzilla. Considering what we know, that likely won't be the case this time, since in the Monsterverse, Godzilla is already a similar type of guardian to the type of shtick Mothra usually has. From what little we know about Mothra in the new films, she currently is in China's Yuan province inside an ancient structure known as the Temple of the Moth. On the walls, there are large carvings of ancient people worshipping a giant moth. So it looks like Mothra's origin is mostly intact, outside of moving from Infant Island to China. Currently inside of the temple, Monarch has found a giant cocoon with a quickening heartbeat. It looks like Mothra is getting ready to emerge again in its moth form. Based on that, and knowing the other kaiju from the film, Godzilla, Ghidorah, and Rodan, her role may be similar to the one she had in Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. In that film, Mothra is asked to defend the Earth from Ghidorah, but feels it's too weak to do it alone. So she seeks out Godzilla and Rodan for help while the two are fighting each other. She stops them with her web and asks them for her help, but they tell her that they really have no reason to defend the humans. She reminds them that defending the Earth is more than just defending humans, but neither budge. Mothra takes on Ghidorah alone, but is no match for him. When Ghidorah starts overpowering her, Godzilla and Rodan show up, and the three are able to take him down together. While it likely won't be a point-for-point -point remake of this film, it is possible that similar circumstances to that film will show up in King of the Monsters, with Godzilla fighting Rodan first, then Mothra intervening, and finally the three teaming up to fight Ghidorah. Considering the lineup we have, and Mothra's character, it seems likely to be the case. While Godzilla and other monsters go back and forth on whether or not they're destroyers or protectors, Mothra has always been steadfastly the latter, and that will more likely than not be transitioned into the new Monsterverse. But what do you guys think? Do you think this will be the role that Mothra plays in the film? And what are your thoughts on the giant moth protector? Well, as always, let us know down in the comments, but until next time, this has been Tim from the Hybrid Network, signing out. Hey guys, thanks for watching, but if you want to take your support to the next level, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it can be immediately informed whenever a new video goes up. Also, check out our website for the latest news and editorials, and if you want to take your support even further, you can always consider donating to us on Patreon to help our videos get better.